Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, Joel. Hello. Hi. How are you? Let's see. Hi. Mr. Elkin, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thanks. Okay, how was your day, Elwin? Uh, what do you say? Casi no, no se hizo nada. We did almost nothing. Okay, we did you almost nothing. A, you had a, an easy day. Relax, yeah. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. What about you, Joel? How was your day? It was uh, boring. Boring? Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I was studying. Okay, what were you studying? Tell me. English. I was studying English. <laughs> great, great, great. Watching, watching videos. But is, this is not boring. <laughs> Okay, it was boring, uh, but, but by another things. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. Let's see, I guess somebody from the group is coming in. They told me. They are texting me in this moment. Well, Everybody's connecting now. That's nice. Excellent. So let's see who else is around. Okay. Oops. Well, let's get rid of this. Let's see. There's also Suli. Hello, Suli. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm happy to have you here early, Suli. That's great. <laughs> How was your day? Tell me. Uh, very busy uh, for uh, how do uh, mm -mm. how do you say fill the mess? The end of the month. The end of the month. Oh really? A lot of activities. As you very busy. Okay, well, the good thing is that it's almost Friday. Almost yes. Friday. <laughs> So, and tomorrow, no class, so you can rest working on the platform. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, thank you, Suli. You're welcome. Freddy, hello, Freddy, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just great. What about you? How was your day? Tell me. My day was, was great. Everything right. is normal. Yeah. How but was the university? About my university, everything is good right now, but okay. I have a little problem with the platform. Uh, today okay. I want to, yeah. Yes, I, I have I'm, a, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. but everybody has the problem with the platform. The, the problem is that as I told some of you yesterday, the platform, uh, the, the servers are in the United States. Mm. So they are having the problems over there and they okay. are fixing problem that's why we are having problems with the connection getting into the platform okay because i mean we administrate from here but the servers are over there and you know sometimes uh, a little glitch on informatics and computers it's a big problem yeah but we had you too right we yes yes yeah. we have another way to work yeah. well thank you freddy you're welcome Let Let's see who is around. Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Good evening. Let's see. Good evening. How are you? I am just fine. I think you're having a little problem with the connection. Oh, yes. It's the water. <laughs> the yes, problem. Happens. happens. <laughs> but we are happy to have you here, Marilyn. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, there's Carlos Celaya. Good evening, mister. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? 
I'm just great, just great. Happy to see that everybody's connecting. That's excellent. Me too, so teacher. Tell me, Carlos, how was your day? Tell me. Uh, work, work, uh, is, this day is very difficult. The end of the month? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, finish, finish the month. It's been, it's hard. It's very hard. So today and tomorrow is going to be pretty yes. hard. Yes, yes, I teacher. Yeah, I understand. The same told me Urania that she has the same problem. Thank you, Carlos. Hey, teacher. Urania has the same problem. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Closing month, Urania? Nah, it's the same for you. Oh. How's the teeth coming along, Urania? Come on. <laughs> how's, how's the teeth coming along? Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> I don't. I, I hear you a little bit dubious. I can I can work uh, I can work my thesis this this day today but I couldn't today I, today I couldn't I remember you are talking in class I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't okay, I couldn't yeah. work I couldn't work in my thesis today today Yes, because I I went to a meeting in my association. Um, oh, really? Yes, we were meet two hours. We, we met for two hours. We met for, for two, hours. two hours. We met. Oh, yes, we met. We were no? Mm. We were no. You can say we were in the meeting for two hours. It's longer. Oh. If you want to speak further, we met for two hours. It's okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, Rania. Okay. Let's, let's see who's around, who's around. Well, today is a big group, so I'm not going to greet everybody, but I'm going to greet Roberto. Roberto was not here yesterday. Good evening, Roberto. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine, thanks. I am just fine. I saw Roberto was firing yesterday. No, what happened? No, no. I I'm I'm arrived at home and I'm really uh, tired. I was really tired. I was really tired. Okay, but the good thing is that you are here in class. Thank you, Roberto. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, let's see, Mr. Roberto Antonio. Good evening. Hello. I don't know if I cannot hear you, Roberto, or perhaps it's a connection problem. Well, let's see, don't worry, Roberto. There's Alberto Raimundo. Good evening, Alberto. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. So tell me, how was your day? I very, very, very dark. <laughs> um, <Not> really? <laughs> I uh, attend different, uh, different um, situations. For example, meetings. Um, conference, a uh, call, uh, attend the, the, the tax uh, advisories. And uh, I, I prepare the change uh, uh, of the tax in the company because uh, the tax law change, uh, change, uh, in next in the next month uh, oh, really? yes uh, you you know the sesc or con tax contribution con contributions yes. the 
and somebody the, 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 is the task telecom okay uh, so, yeah. in this case for, for my for, for my company uh, we applicate different changes in the report system uh, invoices uh, is is very very complicated yeah complicated complicated and remember, changes changes okay changes so, but, it, it's true, it's true, it's true. but it's it's better for us <laughs> oh really it's gonna be better for the company uh, yes because uh, tax uh, says says tax is going go go out oh. It's going out. Going out the tax law. Going out. Tax law. Tax law. Tax law. Okay. Yeah. You write the word L A W, but you pronounce law. Law. Okay. Thank you, teacher. It's a it's a sound like very round, like Freddy. Freddy is starting law. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see, let's see the last one because we have a lot of activities to do. Let's see who's gonna be. I'm, I'm going to talk right now to uh, Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Jamie, hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Tell me. Fine, I'm sorry. I was finished cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> okay, okay. I was finishing. I was finishing cleaning Clean. the kitchen. Mm. Clean? Yeah, I was finishing, I was finishing cleaning, cleaning the, kitchen. the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you build. Do that you is done. <laughs> Do you prefer dinner to Jamie? I buy pupusas. <laughs> okay, listen up, listen up. It's in past because it's past already, it's finished. So you have to tell me, I bought. I bought. I bought. I bought. I bought pupusas. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, no, <laughs> that's the way it's with people here in El Salvador. They like to do it. For me, it's okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's yeah. see. We are going to start right now. Thank you, Jamie. I'm sorry for the rest. Okay. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't greet you. Uh, welcome, Flora. Welcome, Sarah. Uh, let's see. Micro Miguel Presa, Carol. Welcome, everybody. Today, we are going to work with time expression. Okay. And remember, the way we are working right now is first, uh, we watch the conversation from the English Corporativo platform. We repeat it, we practice the conversation in the breakout room. Then I'm going to choose some of you for you to practice it here for the group. Okay, so we can help and correct some little nuances with the pronunciation. And then we jump to another activity. So right now we are going to start by working on the let me see, just let me close this, that is not needed. Okay. And we are going to start by sharing the conversation. Where is it? It's gone. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on just a second, guys. That I was in another screen and I need to get it ready for you. Okay. So it's right here so we can start working on the pronunciation Ana Maria good evening welcome good evening teacher okay let's see guys let's start remember this is the conversation from the English Corporativo platform we are working in section 2.6 the conversation says I start work at 5 okay so let's listen to the conversation, please. Oh, hold on. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. 
I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, guys, let's see. Any question about the vocabulary? Let's check it out. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, yes, yes, tell me, tell me. Teacher, este don, at the end, announcer, Helen. Announcer, announcer. I am a TV uh, announcer. I am a TV announcer. Okay, any other one? Okay, let me pronounce it for you again. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? In this case, here, we have P-O. Remember, if the previous word and the in a vowel, then we have the letter T, and then we have another vowel. You can get them together. You can make them just one sound. Listen, what time do you go to work? Or you can say, what time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? You listen? In this case, I am pronouncing it as an R. What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? Hold on just a second. Okay. I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Now, I need you to notice something. Let me see where was it. Mm, here. Do you see? I work in the afternoon. Now listen to this. Come to the gym. In this case, as the word the comes before a consonant sound, you pronounce it the or the. When it comes before a vowel, we pronounce it D, okay? In this case, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? I work in the afternoon. Let's listen again so you can get it. Yes, okay? I first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to do the pronunciation of this exercise. Just let me send you the, let's see. Sure. What it is. Yes? We got a question. Tell me. Uh, what is the difference between a uh, star work and a star working? Because I, I got a, I, I don't know, it's a little bit confusing because. No difference. There, there is no difference. No, I okay. start work, I start activities, or I start working, it's exactly, exactly the same. The same, okay. Oh, yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, just let me share with you the image of the conversation. So you can check it out. Okay, guys, you got the conversation right now. We are going to go to the groups. You are going to practice in pairs. Then we come back, and I'm going to choose who's going to work. Who's going to pronounce it for everybody? Any questions? 
No? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do no, it. Teacher. Perfect. Let me see. I'm going to create the groups right now. I got uh, I guess. Oh man. Let's see. Okay, guys. Jump sure. in. You already got the invitation. Please. Hurry up. Hurry up. Marilyn, get in the group. And Roberto Antonio, Marilyn and Roberto Antonio, they are waiting for you. So, what's up, my friend? You're alone. Hey, what's up? What's up, teacher? <laughs> okay, okay, let's I am, it. I am alone. I'm alone here. Okay, okay. Hold on just a second. Give me just a second. Saying. Let's do it. Do you have it? Um, the conversation, uh, it's in, in WhatsApp? Yes, I sent it already. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, let's do it this way. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry, don't worry. Look at the screen. I'm going to share it with you. Can you see it? Eh, sí, pero es que tengo problemas. No sé, no, no me está cargando. No me está cargando el WhatsApp en mi en mi compu. No sé por qué para poder no, visualizarla. But... I am sharing it with you. Se la estoy compartiendo en este momento. Ah, ya, ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. Gracias, gracias. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, I am Daniel, you are Helen. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on Key KN TV. KN. KN TV. Do you not recognize me? Recognize me. No, don't you no, don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show, by the way. And Daniel. So you see it's very simple. Let's see who is not assigned. I'm going to assign somebody. No. Okay, I'll see you back in the main room. In 60 seconds we go back. Okay. Perfect. Hello, Roberto. Let's see who's going to start. Oh, dokey. Let me check just one little thing here. What did I just do? Okay. Ah, no problem. No problem. Okay, guys. We are going to start doing the conversation. Let me just put this right here so I can see everybody who's connected. Uh, 
I got, uh, let's see, let's start with Jamie. Jamie, who did you work with? Oh, I don't remember her name. Hello, ladies, who work with Jamie? Hello. She had uh, problems with the connection. With Okay, no problem, no problem. Mr. Roberto is going to help you. No battery, please charge. Okay. Okay, I, I'm sorry. So, do you usually come to gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the, by the way, I am Daniel. Perfect. Thank you very much. So let's see, let's see now. Uh, Flora, Flora, who did you work with? Hello, with Urania. Okay. Urania, hello. Hi. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay, start, please. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually at home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay. Daniel. Remember, okay. by the way means por cierto, okay? When you okay. say by the way, you mean por cierto. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see who's, uh, who's going to be next. Norma de Leon, please. Or with Carol. Okay, Carol. Hello, Carol. Hello. <laughs> Carol. I yes. Uh, so Daniel. Okay. Angel. Okay. okay. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What what time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize? Oh, recognize oh you're Helen Black. I love your show. Be the... By the way, by, by the way, I am Daniel. Okay, perfect. Remember, don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Don't okay, recognize now let's see. Thank you, ladies. Irma Aguilar, please. Who was your partner, Irma? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, no guys, do you remember who was Irma's partner? Let's see, I can check it out. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let's see, it was Irma. I have here. Irma Aguilar, Joel Biches. Hello. 
Okay. O él. O él. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do water reports on KMTV. Do you recognize me? Recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Thank you. Okay. Hey, remember, weather, weather report. Weather, weather report. Okay? Okay. Be careful with that word. It's not report. It's report. Okay? Now, let's see. Let's see. I still got time for two couples. Alberto, who was your partner, Alberto? I work with uh, Edwin. Edwin. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'm Daniel. Daniel. Let's start. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. 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 Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you do to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That's late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report. report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well done. And let's see who's going to be last. Who's going to be last? Oh, Noel. Oh, no, Noel, you are driving, right? Yes, I saw that Noel is driving. Don't worry, Noel. It's not going to be you. It's going to be, uh, let's see who's been very quiet today. Ana Maria. Where's Ana Maria? She left. No, she's there. Ana Maria. Hey, teacher. Okay, who was your partner, Ana Maria? Sara. Sara, okay. Hi. Okay, um, I am a Daniel, Ana Maria. Okay, Sara. Okay, um, I am a star. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That that is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTB. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, perfect. By the way, I'm, I'm Daniel. Remember, it's contractor. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for the rest thank of you, I'm sorry. But you know that we have different activities, and this is a big group. So right now, we are going to get into the time expression. Actually, in the conversation, we were working with time expression. Now you are going to see why. Let me share with you the next video from the platform. So let me check it right here. Okay, remember we go to the platform and then we come to exercise 2.8 time expression. Okay. This is a short December 25th. Okay. This oh, lesson yeah. participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. 
I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Noon on Sundays. Okay, now listen. This is what I want you to focus on. Check this out. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. You see, we are using at, in, on. Look at this. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknight. I leave work early in the afternoon. So these are time expressions. At, in, on, around, early, late, until, before, after. All of them are time expression. But right now, we are going to focus on these three, at, in, on. These are the ones that we are going to be working with. I prepare a small uh, PowerPoint presentation so you can check them out like slower, okay? We are going to work with it right now. Let me share it with you. Let's see, I have it right here. Okay. Okay, guys, prepositions of time, at, in, on. As you saw, we use at for the exact time to the precise time, in for months, years, centuries, and long periods, on for days and days. But here you can see it more clearly. You see, at, precise time, exact time, at three o'clock, at, 10.30 a.m. at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. At the moment means in this moment. If you see, I repeat, when you are using at, you are referring to the exact moment, the precise time, okay? Like this class finishes at 10 p.m. This class started at 9 p.m. You see? At. We use in when we talk about months, years, decades, centuries, seasons, periods of time. You see? In May. In summer. In the summer. In 1990. In the 1990s. In this case, when I add an S, to this, I am talking about the whole decade, okay? Like in my case, I can tell you, oh, I was born in the 1970s because I was born in 1979. So I was born in the 1970s decade, okay? In the next century, well, I'm not going to be alive. In the next century, you see, we're talking about centuries, siglos. In the ice age, we are talking about a long period of time. In the past, in the future. Now, we use on when we talk about days and dates. On Sunday, the specific day. 
on Tuesdays. You see, this is the frequency. It happens all Tuesdays. Like, we don't have classes on Fridays. You see, on Fridays, no classes. On six, on the 6th of March, okay? On the 25th of December, 2010. On Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, Eve, Vispera. So we use on to talk about days and dates, okay? And let's check out some examples. But before this, any question? Before we move on, is there any question, guys? No? Okay, cool. No. Let's continue. Look at the example. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Do you work on Monday? Her birthday is on the 20th of November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Any question about these examples, guys? No. No. Look, remember, at the exact moment, at 9 a.m., at midnight, at lunchtime, in the period of time, in December, December is a whole month, so it's a period of time, in the future, in the next century, on, we use on with days and dates. You see, on Mondays, on the 20th of November, on New Year's Day, that's a day, okay? So let's see. Something that I want to explain to you because it's something that perhaps you can get a little bit confused is with the dates. And I'm going to show it to you in this. Okay, right here, let's see. Look guys, in my case, I, let's see what's happened here. I was born, look, in, Now look at this sentence. I was born Both are correct. Just notice this. When I place in is because it comes first the month and remember that the month is a period of time. I was born in December the 17th. In the second case, as I'm talking about the date, I was born on the 17th of December. You see, both are correct. Now, something that I also want you to notice is this. When you are, when you are writing, you write it just like this. But when you are speaking, you introduce this. Okay? You don't write it, but you say it. In this case, it's the same. This is something that we don't... I mean, they don't usually explain it to you, but I want you to understand this. In this case, I was born in December the 17th. This is the most correct way to say it. Some people will just tell you, I was born in December 17th, and it's okay. I was born on, on 17th December. 
when you say it, when you speak, you need to speak this word and this word, even though you do not write it, okay? Any question? It's a little bit weird, no? It's a little but, confusing. Yeah, it's a little confusing. I know, I know. But remember, the problem is that that's a peculiarity of the language. When you are saying the date in English, you can say it both ways. Both ways are correct. The only difference is this. When I say, oh, I was born in December, because before the month, comes in. If I start with the date, with the number, it's on. Because with the date comes on. I was born on the 17th of December. Now, as I told you, something that they don't usually explain to you is that when you speak, you say, I was born on, I'm sorry, I was born in December the 17th. That particle, then you do not write it, but you speak it. That's formal English, okay? Remember that as in Spanish, there's informal Spanish, formal Spanish, the same goes for English. Informal and very correct English, you say, I was born in December the 17th, okay? Or I was born the 17th of December. That's the correct form when you speak, okay? Just remember that those little words, you don't write them, okay? Any question? No? No, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. I like it. Remember, please analyze it, check it out, and if you have any question later, just let me know, I can help you, it doesn't matter, okay? So let's continue, let's continue because we have a small exercise. I have a small exercise prepared for you. Easy, cheesy, just three questions, okay? But you are going to practice with your classmates. So let me share with you. Okay, I need you to write down these sentences because these questions you are going to ask each other. When were you born? What time do you start working? When is your mother's birthday? Okay? When were you born? What time do you start working? When is your mother's birthday? Write them down, please. Escribámoslas. I repeat the pronunciation one last time. When were you born? What time do you start working? When is your mother's birthday? Okay. Now let's go to the groups. I'm going to recreate the groups. You are going to work with somebody else, okay? Let's see, let's see. Please guys, get in the groups. Mr. Roberto and Irma. Can you get into the groups? Ana Maria. Hi, teacher. 
Nobody was with you? I was alone again. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm sending you right now to another group. You got it? What? No? Irma, hello, Irma. Hello, hello. Please, Irma and Ana Maria, work here. Okay. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay. Do you have the, the questions? Yes. Um, when were you born, Ana Maria? Yeah. At 5. 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to start. I am. I'm, I can start uh, asking okay. you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Well, when were you born? I was born on October. 25. I'm sorry, in October, because you are saying the month. Como está diciendo el mes primero, si usted va a iniciar con el mes, le pone in antes, ¿ok? Y si es la fecha on. Exactly. Ah, uh, ok. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Star work at 8 a.m. Okay. And the and the first question, Carlos, please. Hello. When were you born, Carlos? Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Hello. 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 I can hear Hello, you. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. When were you born, Carlos? I was born in October 17th. Perfect. What about you, Edwin? When were you born? I was born in March. The Sorry, <laughs> I, I read in the, the answer of Bethsaida. No, no, problem. no problem. I... <laughs> oh, Bethsaida, <that's> answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I I was born on February 16th. In February 16th. In February 16th. Remember, if you start with the month, in. If you start with the number, on. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Teacher, me pone nervioso. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, my God. Look, that'll even turn her camera I, off. Aquí estoy. <laughs> oh, ya ve que usted no pone nervioso. <laughs> I was born. I was born in. Uh... <laughs> Look, remember, if you are going to say the month, you say in. Okay? In. In. Okay. Yes. Yes. Which month? <laughs> oh, come on, ladies. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. I'll see you later. <laughs> March 24th. On in March 24th. On, in March 24th. 24th. Or, or on the 24th of March. Ah, okay. On I start with 20. the month, comienzo con el mes, in. If I start with the number, si comienzo con la fecha, on. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. In the case, in the um, the age? The age? Yes, uh, in the case, for, uh, for example, I say he's born on December 1986. He or was born he's born in December. In, in December. 
Yes, because you are starting with the month. And remember, with month, you use in. In, okay. 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 I'll see you in the room. Guys, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ana Maria, when were you born? Tell me. I born on July 5th. In, in July, in July 5th. 5th. Yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Maria. Let's see, let's see. Urania, when were you born? Be serious. Yeah, I was born in 1987. I was born in 1987. Oh, you are a kiddo. Okay, thank you very much, Urania. Let's see, let's okay. see, let's see. Carol, what time did you start working? I start working at 8 o'clock. At? At, at, at eight o'clock, yes. Remember, we use at when at. we are talking about the time. Let's see, Freddy, okay. what time do you start classes? Uh, I start classes at 3 p.m. every single day. At 3 p.m. every single day. Perfect yes. answer, Freddy. Thank you. Welcome. Suli, what time do you start working, Suli? Oh, I'm... Um... Uh, eight nine. No, no, no. Listen, listen, Suli. What time do you start working? Mm -hmm. um, I start working. I, I start working in I, Agus. No, 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 no. ¿A qué horas comienzo a trabajar? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and ten in the morning. At ten, at ten in the morning. Wow. At ten in the morning. Uh, right. Thank you, Suli. Mr. Beaches. Hello. Hello, Joel. I'm sorry for the question, Joel. When were you born? <laughs> when? Excuse me. Uh, well, when? Me. Uh huh. Where you, you born? Ah, I was born on in August 10th, 1967. Oh, I was a few days ago. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Vitas. Roberto, hello, Roberto. What time do you start working? What time do you start working? I'm I start working at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Perfect. Listen up. There's something that you must remember, everybody. Whenever we have the verb start, if we place another verb, the verb goes in ing form. Start working. Start practicing. Start studying. Okay? If there's a verb okay. after start, the bear goes in ing. Thank you, Roberto. Let's see, Sarah. Sarah, tell me, when were you born, Sarah? Uh, I was born in August 1888. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank Flora, you. Very much. What happened? Flora. Hello. Hello, Flora. Tell me, when were you born? I was born in September 4, 1983. Okay, thank you very much. Miguel Presa, hello, mister. Tell me, what time do you start working? Hi. Hi. I start work at 8 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see. Mr. Alberto Raimundo.
Hello, teacher. Tell me, Alberto, listen, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed uh, at 12 noon. At 12 at noon? Noon or midnight? Midnight. Mid midnight. midnight. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. My gosh. Hey. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Elwin. What about you? What time do you usually go to bed, Elwin? Yes. I usually go to bed at uh, 11 o'clock. Okay, guys. Now, listen up. I am asking these questions for you to you because for tomorrow for tomorrow for next week I need you to prepare a, your daily schedule. Okay. Choose any day. It could be Monday, it could be Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, any given day during the week. And prepare at least five sentences describing your schedule okay do you remember the word schedule horario that's what i want your daily schedule prepare those sentences because we are going to use them in the class okay any question about the homework yes teacher five five sentences by day just one day okay I'm one sorry. day, five sentences. Yes. Escoja un día de la semana. Just one, one day. day. Any day. Cualquier día. And prepare the day schedule for that day. Okay? Listen, an example. On Mondays, I... Let's see Mondays. No, wake on up. Saturdays. On Saturdays, I wake up at... 6.45 a.m. I go to work at 7.30. I come back home at 12 at noon. And I rest the whole afternoon. Okay? That's a Saturday for me. So, you're going to choose one day, one of you one uh, one day of your week okay that's the homework any question about the homework no 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 uh, teacher no teacher okay perfect <laughs> guys remember the platform has been given problems let's hope tomorrow you can work on it and if i'm not mistaken so okay. thank you very much have a good weekend see you thanks okay. Thanks. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you Bye. next week. Bye. 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 Bye.